Pokeroo, has this ever happened to you? You are having a conversation with someone, and all of a sudden, your conversation dies. A miserable death of stenchy, bad conversation. Why did that conversation die, I ask you? There's probably two very good reasons why your conversation <gasps> has died. The first one is that you are too shy or too embarrassed to ask a person about new vocabulary. We are living in such a time as we have new slang, old slang, new vocabulary, old vocabulary around us all the time. Sometimes my mother will say a word and I will have no idea what the word means because it's either British English or really old-fashioned or old school. On the other hand, if you're talking to native Canadian speakers or native English speakers, they might throw some slang at you and you have no idea what they're saying. For example, if someone said, I have to go take a dump. Yeah, what? Dump truck? You're taking a dump truck? So, instead of stopping the conversation with the person who has to take a dump, you're going to realize that you've just heard some new, exciting vocabulary. This is a common occurrence in a conversation. Two people will be talking. One person will say a new word, and the other person will... Stop talking because they don't want to look stupid and just ask the person two or one very simple question. What's that? So if I was talking to someone or you were talking to me and I said, excuse me, I have to take a dump. I'll be right back. I'm back. Instead of not talking to me anymore, what you're going to do is you're going to ask me, Ronnie. What's take a dump? And I say, oh, yes. Take a dump means I have to go to the washroom. I'll be right back. You can use this with one word or a phrase like I have used. Take a dump is slang. It's usually used with when men speak to each other. Girls, you can say it too, it doesn't matter. Take a dump basically means you have to go, number two, there's gonna be some poo. It's usually not polite to mention to people, my name's Ronnie, nice to meet you, I gotta take a dump. It's better to be more polite and say, I have to go to the washroom. And we don't care what you're doing there. Or do we? Hmm. The second thing you can say what does the word mean, okay, or the phrase mean? These two expressions are the same. Let's imagine that I was telling you about my adventures in uh, Mexico. And let's imagine that I went to a beach in Mexico and I saw a donkey. And you have no idea what a donkey is. So instead of going, huh, or the other thing that people do is they go donkey, 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 donkey. I then think, one, you did not hear me say donkey, or two, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So instead of repeating the word you don't know, donkey, 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 literally ask the person the question, what's donkey or what does donkey mean? As soon as you have asked them the question, they realize that you don't understand some new vocabulary. People will try to help you. Maybe <laughs> they want, most people want to teach you new slang, new vocabulary. They want to help you. So instead of closing off, running away, what you're going to do is you're going to ask them, what's 
this word mean or what does mean, okay? You cannot say what does mean donkey. I hear a lot of my English students saying, teacher, what donkey mean does? You cannot change the structure of this sentence. This is very easy. It's one word, what's mystery word, okay? So practice, if someone throws out some new slang, new vocabulary, don't be afraid, come back with these. Two words, conversation skills. Second thing, this happens to me. So I can imagine it will happen to you. Maybe you are learning English. Maybe you are learning how to communicate with people at a new job. I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> what you're going to do is you know the English word. You know it. You know this word. You know this word. You've heard this word before. But you don't remember the English word. Or you don't know the word whatsoever. You know the word in your language, but you have not learned the translation into an English language. This is where the fun begins. So for the second reason, A, you don't know the word at all, or you don't remember the English word. What you're going to do, you get to play a game with the person you're talking to. Yes. You're going to take all of the vocabulary, adjectives, verbs that you know, you're going to play a game with the person. This game is called Guess the Word. You're going to start the game by saying a question. You're going to say, how do you say? You are going to use all of your vocabulary and you're going to describe the word that you don't know or don't remember. For example, I can say, how do you say the food um, that you sometimes eat at the movies? Um, it's, it's white um, and uh, yellow. Sometimes we put butter on. <gasps> popcorn, popcorn. Your friend's like, yeah, it's popcorn. <gasps> popcorn. You have just remembered or learned the word that you couldn't do. The next phrase you can say to the people or the person, what do you call? Again, these two words are the same. Sorry, these two sentences are exactly the same. You're going to use this or this. They're the same words, same sentences. Again, you're going to play the game with the people. I'd like to put out a warning as well. Some people are stupid, so be careful. Some people you could describe the word and they still will have no idea. That's when you get out your dictionary and leave. And the next sentence, what do you call? Again, these two are the same. I can say, what do you call the animal um, that looks like a horse, but it's a little smaller? It has long ears. And I can ride the animal. I think the animal was in Shrek. You know the movie Shrek? Oh, <gasps> donkey, donkey. Your friend or the person you're talking to knows the movie Shrek and tells you, because of your beautiful description, that that mystery word is donkey. So the next time you are having a conversation with someone, maybe who is a native speaker, or someone who you're talking to for the first time and you do not understand them or you're having a conversation breakdown, do not panic. Remember, ask them about new vocabulary and ask them play our beautiful game. Ask them to, just, to talk about the word. You're going to talk about the word and they will tell you your magic answer. If you would like to do a quiz, on this. Go to ingvid.com. Take the quiz. Bye.